Why? What drew me to Thomas Merton was his deep inner search for truth and light, his inner search for God. I encountered his new seeds of contemplation. This book, in particular, encapsulate his spirituality for me, not in a biographical sense, but his profound soulful depths which at times seems to touch infinity. In fact, it is the opening chapter of this book that I return to again and again because they are, to me, like the opening chapter of Genesis, revealing the truth of creation and our capacity for God. Merton explores the integral link between prayer and identity in his opening chapter. Pray for your own discovery and things in their identity. Prayer never touches us as long as it remains on the surface of our lives, as long as it is nothing but one more of a thousand things that must be done. It is only when prayer becomes the one thing necessary that real prayer begins. Prayer begins to take on its full dimensions only when we begin to into it that subtitle nothingness of prayer is everything. The inner self as a secret as God and like God, it invade every concept that tries to size hold of it with full possession. It is a life that cannot be held and studied as object because it is not a thing. It is not reached and coaxed forth from hiding by any process under the sun, including meditation. All that we can do with any spiritual discipline is produced within ourselves something of the silence, the humidity, the detachment, the purity of heart and the indifference which are required if the inner self is to make some shy, unpredictable, manifestation of presence. Wow. <laughs> you have a great day. Thank you.